Good morning, everyone. This is Anne-Marie Band. Today is August the 30th, and this is Moneyball Morning for the Benzinga Pro Platform. Um, as many of you know, I will be out of uh, pocket all day today. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, forgive the raspy voice, uh, but let's have a look at the market. What we're seeing are traders working on trying to keep a floor here. This is a 25% retracement of the prior month. This is a monthly channel. Um, to recap, the orange channels are the yearlies, the red, excuse me, the green channels are the monthlies, and the yellow channel is the weekly. And so you can see we are under the low of the week and moving into last month's uh, rotation. So what we've done, if we're staring this down, here's what happens in a normal formation, right? We have resistance, we break through the resistance, but because we're moving in a downward formation, we have to have a retest of that area. Full bullish formation would simply allow us to have a, a light fade and then continued motion to the upside. If we're to look at this in a bullish way, we can see, hey, we had um, a shoulder here, a head here, a breach up through a solid resistance space, which was the month close, right? We moved up and over it, and now we are coming in and retesting that area. That could put us on the edge of this shoulder, way back here at uh, 391, 393, or we could stop here. It really all depends on what kind of strength the traders are able to pull out. This is a very big week. We've got employment numbers, a lot of very big employment numbers. And very interestingly, folks, although um, the Fed chair came out and said, hey, we are not stopping, the bond market is telling us that he will stop, just he might do it later. Right. So the backdrop is still that the market does not believe what the Fed is saying. So this is a very interesting formation for us to think about from that global space of, hey, what what really might happen here? Well, something's going to break, but we don't know when it is and we don't know where it is. But what we can do is look for support. So my thought is the following. If you're liking short thoughts, wait for the bounce up into and over these areas, right, into the last week's candlestick, or excuse me, yesterday's candlestick, it would be last week's candlestick as we bounce up into the forward motion. Um, and from there, we say, hey, listen, let's uh, take a short and ride it down, right? If we're taking a look at this from a very bearish formation, where we've got negative drift, it pushes up into its resistance zone at the 50. This is also the 200 on the daily. And everybody rejected it. And so that means easily we could have lower lows. But you've got to watch the support edges. So every time it comes into a support, you want to take some profit. Now, why look at it that way? Because we've got a moving average that's going up, a moving average that's going down, a moving average up that's, that's going a little bit up. And then, you know, we've got these squiggly formations on the one hour, right? And this gives us cross current. It means that people playing on different time frames are going to have different ideas about what they want to see unfold. And that also is true if we're taking a look at price action uh, from the macro side, where folks are really just trying to position their portfolio ahead of something that a lot of us know is going to be dramatic, but it takes a long time for these things to unfurl. You can't just go, oh, well, that's going to happen, so let's all go short. The market would go to zero, and that's just not how the market's built. The market is a forward pricing uh, bullish mechanism by default. We invest in things so that they grow. And so being on the short side of things is always the harder side of the trade, except we're in these, except when we're in these bigger pockets and things just can run like crazy, right? So what's what's the bottom line? The bottom line is trade to levels. Support to resistance or resistance to support. You want to go short, wait for resistance, and then take your trade. So, for instance, we're looking at something right now. This is broken through the resistance of this candlestick from uh, last week. Now we are staring down that edge. This is an area where you say, you know what? That's the prior day's high. I'm going to see it bounce and pull back. I'm taking a short here, and my stop is going to be the very top of these candles. Because if I break through the top of these candlesticks, I'm headed up here. I'm headed into these zones. So you wait for resistance, you take the short. You want to go long, wait for support. 
wait for support. This is a chart that's really trying to recover. It just, for the cues, it just faded right down. Ones and threes are great places to look for entry points uh, if you follow the strat. Also, if you take a look at yesterday's 930 open, things are bouncing right there as well, but they're bouncing into resistance. Could we go sideways for another day? I suspect we do. Just look alert. Remember, the only way you win is if you have an edge. And if you don't have an edge, it means you really don't have a strategy and you're setting yourself up for failure. All right? Stay frosty, and I'll see you all tomorrow.